Today we begin a conversation, uh, being the first day of December 2022, knowing that very soon, in a few weeks, we celebrate Christ Christmas. But uh, in the book of Luke, chapter number 2, verse 14, we find a message that is so significant to Christmas. And this is a message of celebration and worship. It begins with glory to God in the highest. And I want to appeal uh, to everyone who captures this message to know that God created us that we may, be, we may praise him. The word of God does says, Father, that he perfect praise in the mouth of children. So as we talk about Christmas, remember the great hymn that we sing is, is in song, but also it is based on a scripture uh, in the book of Luke chapter 2 and verse number 14. And we need to capture that message. There was with angels, multitudes of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. I would like us to just think about that aspect. God desires that we glorify him. Not only in what we say, but in what we do. And one of the greatest responsibilities for every one of us is to know how do we glorify God. We glorify God when we are able to honor him. And we honor him when we also honor his works. And of all the works of God is the creation of man in his own image. So when we are able to live in respectful relationships, in loving relationships, in caring relationships, that is still a way of glorifying God. Again, think about that scripture. Luke chapter number 2 verse 14. As we go into this Christmas season, glory to God in the highest. We're going to discuss in, a, in another uh, conversation, another caption about peace on earth. But I want us to be, think about that aspect because there are so many people who uh, do not think about their responsibility of glorifying God. And again, remind you again, we just don't glorify God with our mouth, which we should, but we glorify him by our conduct and behavior by living in a manner in which we revere him and honor him for who he is. So this Christmas, purpose, there'll be song in your mouth to glorify God, but also in your way of disposition in life, you will honor God. Lord, we thank you for reminding us this season of Christmas about the call to, to glorify you and to honor you. Just be with us as we continue to, to think about what f Christmas will be, not about new dresses or new things, but how we become those that know what it is to honor you and glorify you in Jesus' name. Amen.